like to be in the ring with a Hall of Famer like Ricky Morton. With an arm behind their back, they shake hands and oh, oh, JDL tried to pull one over. Ricky Morton caught the boot, spun him out of it to a clothesline. Now a shot right to the forehead goes down for JDL. Irish whip off for the ride. Oh my! Ricky Morton got caught right there. His first pivotal mistake of this matchup is one that JDL can jump in and exploit. Shot to the midsection, drove Morton back to the corner, then fist and fire, took him down to a knee, and then right back in the corner. Well, I'll be honest with you. I can remember in 86 when Ricky Morton is facing against Ric Flair for the heavyweight championship in the steel cage. And it's nothing like being in the ring with a Hall of Famer. For me, it's a dream come true. I'm wrestling against Ricky Morton, the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton. And uh, really, it's an honor to be in the ring with someone like that. But the problem is with Ricky Morton, he came in to try and take my belt. And I wish, uh, I wish Ricky Morton the best, but for him to come in and try and aim for my title is just a mistake on his part. But I mean, it's the same outcome that's gonna happen with anyone else that comes after my title. I take it really seriously. Getting to the corner. A shot, low blow by JDL. I take it really seriously. And unfortunately for Ricky Morton, the outcome for him was a loss. Let me be very specific. Kilgannon hooks the leg right there. I think he's a, got a victory over JDL. And now Kilgannon wants to ignite the crowd here in La Follette. Up top he goes. He's going high to the perch. JDL back up to his feet. Oh, my. JDL hit the ropes, trying to pull himself up. Unknowingly knocked Kilgannon off his perch. Kilgannon still worse for the wear as JDL climbing to the top, looking for that superplex. He's got him hooked for the superplex. Both men up, oh my! JDL the champion laying it all on the line. Kilgannon with a mistake that turned into a big offensive maneuver for JDL. The superplex takes it out of both men and both men down on the mat. 10 count applied by our referee in charge. JDL trying to roll over. He gets an arm across, and he'll get two. Oh, my. JDL put everything he could into that superplex. Now he's going to hook the leg. There's a two count, and oh, he kicked out before the three. JDL still not content. Goes for two legs, and still just a two count. Kilgannon reaching down deep. He is not going away without a fight. Another 10 count applied. JDL probably looking in that book, figuring out what else do I need to do to put Kilgannon away. The superplex didn't do it. And both men vertical base. Oh, look, Kilgannon with a small package roll up. Two. JDL kicked out of that one sure where he found the dig down to get that, but JDL out of the small package. Kilgannon, the second man up. JDL was the first man up after that. That superplex still playing a big factor in Kilgannon right now. Punch right to the face. There's no other way to put that. Now another hook, suplex position by JDL. Shots to the midsection. He's not able to get him up and over. Step behind by Kilgannon. He goes for the suplex maneuver again, can't get there. Boot to the midsection. JDL wants it, and now a roll up by Kilgannon. Out of the suplex, and he got him! Oh my gosh, he got him! Kilgannon has defeated the SPCW Heavyweight Champion. A non-title matchup, but Kilgannon, the young amateur, has stolen one from JDL. Let me be very specific with Mike Kilgannon. Great kid, young kid, good looking kid. Comes in, busts his hump in the wrestling ring, trying to get his training in, and he pays his dues. Great kid. The problem with him, he's barking up the wrong tree. He's coming over to the heavyweight champion, JDL, the champion of the South. And he's coming after me, and he's been in the business a year. Come on, kid. How do I compare myself with guys like Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert? 
These are champions, synonymous with the South. It's just another name going on the list, JDL, JDL. For me, it's an honor, but for the fans, it's a privilege. And when they get to see JDL in the ring at the end of every match and at the end of every interview, they're simply going to chant three letters.